Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 5 May 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor for online Darren Parker asks if there's a future for exoskeletons in South African mining. While the world's attention has been focused on the exponential advances being made in robotics and artificial intelligence, technological development in mechanical exoskeletons has largely been overlooked. This emerging market, however, is forecast to grow significantly over the next few years. The engineering news features focus on agricultural technology, where there is increased demand for automation in the agri-sector. A preview of the Enlit Africa exhibition, where the event will focus on the just energy transition. And truck trailer bus and bucky, where new electric trucks are destined for South Africa. The Mining Weekly features focus on open-cast mining, where Canyon Coal's Guguletu project continues to meet its expected timeline. This week's business leader is Etienne de Villiers, Divisional Technical Executive at John Thompson. And in this week's cartoon, while there's a Game of Thrones-like tussle over the precise role that South Africa's electricity minister will play, one thing is consistent. The outlook for electricity supply in winter is bleak. In other exciting news, our team has been working hard on a new design for the Engineering News and Mining Weekly websites. We'll continue to deliver comprehensive, concise and clear South African business news. And from the 8th of May, the websites will have a brand new look. To find out more about what you can expect, email subscriptions at creamamedia.co.za. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy. Enjoy the read and see you next time.